Stranger Things is a perfect show. Great story, a perfect cast, but also the big break all actors dream of. The adorable kids we knew from season one are now fleeing the nest, but the good news is that they all have bright careers ahead of them, thanks to the success of the show and their talent, of course. So let's see what the future holds for the children of Hawkins. First up, Millie Bobby Brown. Let's start with Millie's upcoming projects because, well, she's the lead lady, or as we like to say, the queen. If you don't agree with that, we can't be friends. So at only 19 years of age, she's already one of Hollywood's biggest names. Like, come on, she's going to be the lead in the Russo brothers' next project, and those guys don't play around. This movie called The Electric State is unlike anything they've produced before, and it seems like Millie is their way of making sure it's a hit. It's based on an illustrated book by Swedish artist Simon Stollenhag, and it basically features a girl and a robot in a post-apocalyptic world, trying to solve the mystery of her brother's disappearance. So yeah, stay tuned, because an epic performance from our favorite girl is on the way. But there's something much more exciting about her career moves. She's stepping into the technical side things. Take the Netflix movie she's currently shooting, Damsel, for example, in which she's playing the lead, duh, she'll be playing a dragon-slaying princess in this one. Cool, you can expect it to be released in 2023. And guess what? She's also executive producing it. That's awesome for sure, but this isn't the first movie she's co-produced. She started it with the 2020 film Enola Holmes. Yeah, do the math. She wasn't even 18 then. And of course, she followed it with Enola Holmes 2, which will be out we don't know when for the love of God release it already. So yeah, she's the boss of Superman himself. How's that for a resume? One of her other future films is The Girls I've Been, which is a book adaptation, and Mills will be producing this one. Oh, and there's another one based on the book The Thing About Jellyfish. These are still in very early stages, so let's not get ahead of ourselves, because we'll probably have to wait long to see them. Now, seeing the rate at which she's spreading her wings, we'll go as far as to suggest that we might be seeing her as a director sometime in the future as well. She did say in an interview that she's enjoying being the behind-the-scenes work, and we know there's practically nothing she can't do. So give it a few years, and she'll get there because she does have what it takes to be an absolute Hollywood powerhouse. Oh, and she's one hell of an entrepreneur. She's currently working on introducing more skin-friendly products from her cosmetics brand. Products that don't aim to hide acne and other problems, but to fix them. Phew, she's not stopping anytime soon, folks, and we don't want her to. Secondly, let's see what's up with Noah. It only made sense to talk about Noah Schnapp right after Millie because there just isn't a better duo than these two. The Duffer brothers are great, don't get us wrong, but they are kind of guilty of doing our Schnapp boy dirty with the little screen time. So if you were wanting to see more of his talent after the last season of Stranger Things, don't worry because his new movie's on the way. Yes, the thriller called The Tudor is set to be released in 2023, and it's currently in the post-production stage. This means the filming's over, and now they're just finishing the final product, so let's just hope it doesn't take too long. And Noah was born to play thrillers. His acting screams of it. This is why this will be the perfect movie. Just hear the plot, you'll get it. He's playing a mysterious guy who gets assigned a tutor at home. This tutor starts realizing that there's more to a student than meets the eye. He finds some deep, dark secrets about him. Told ya, it's good. Also, it looks like he's been taking business lessons from his bestie Mills because he too launched his own brand recently. He's the founder and the chief snacking officer. Yes, that's the official name of his post on his company TBH. As of now, he's only put out a Nutella-ish spread, but vegan. Still, you can be sure of the fact that he'll be releasing new products in the future. Why? Because he's going to the University of Pennsylvania, where he'll study business and entrepreneurship. Yeah, watch your backs, business world moguls. You don't know what's coming at ya. A dork with a degree. That's powerful. But this could also mean fewer movies and TV shows for Noah because, well, college. Now for Finn Wolfhard. When a kid roasts the most famous late-night TV show host to a crisp, you know he's going to go places, and this guy's doing just that. Finn Wolfhard, also known as Mike Wheeler, also known as Can't You See Will's In Love With You, is more of a horror film actor. But that's not where it ends. He too, like Millie, is interested in stepping beyond acting. And where's he headed to? Some amazing directing. His debut as a director was actually in 2020 with the short film Night Shift but he's now taking it to a new level with a full-length film called Hell of a Summer. If you know something about him, you know this is a horror movie, but it's slightly different because it's an indie horror comedy, and we all trust Finn's dry, sarcastic humor enough to believe it'll be great. He'll be co-directing it with Billy Brick, his former co-star from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, and he's also co-written the script with Brick. We could only hope he somehow included Can You Host in it? Please, Finn, for old time's sake. Also, stay tuned for some awesome voice acting from him as well in Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. This one has a star cast and a star director, so it's sure going to be a hit. It'll be out on Netflix in December this year. And come on now, alongside Kate Blanchett, that alone is a big feat. His other fantasy adventure movie, The Legend of Ochi, is in post-production. Other than that, he'll also be voicing a character in the TV series New Gen, along with his brother Nick Wolfhard and actress Anya Chalotra. So voice acting and directing seem to be what he's interested in at the moment. And now give it up for Gaten, please. Gaten Matarazzo, the wise child of a dingus, and the true heart of the Stranger Things party, is also also putting
putting his talents to test outside being Dustin Henderson. Like Wolfhard, he's also starring in an animated film. This one is 2D animated, though. He'll be voicing the dragon in My Father's Dragon. It's based on a children's illustrated novel by Ruth Stiles Gannett. This film's done, like post-production and all, everything's finished. Still, sadly, there's no trailer yet and also no release date. Why you do this, Netflix? Why? Our boy will be co-starring with some big names like Yara Shahidi and Leighton Meester, yes, Blair Waldorf herself. His other animated film called Hump is still in pre-production, but here's the cast we know of yet, Gaten, Rami Youssef, and Simon Pegg. Oh, this will be a fun one. If the wait is too much for you, you can check out his latest romance movie, The Honor Society, which was released a few days ago. Oh, and since Matarazzo's a theater kid at heart, he's doing Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway, but watch out, because he's planning to do a lot more theater acting in the future. Okay, time to talk about Sadie Sink. Sadie's acting in the latest season of Stranger Things was so incredible that Winona Ryder compared her to Meryl Streep. So yeah, this girl's got a great future. Her movie, Dear Zoe, will be released in November. It's based on a book whose plot revolves around this girl, Tess, who loses her little sister in an accident on the day of the 9-11 attacks. She'll be playing Tess, who blames herself for her sister's death. Rings a bell, doesn't it? So the whole story is about her coping with her loss and working on her relationships. In other words, the perfect role for Sadie. Not the only drama film we'll see her in. Her other film that's set to premiere at the Venice Film Festival in September this year is called The Whale. This too will explore deep emotional trauma and relationships. She plays the teenage daughter whose father is trying to make things better with her after he abandoned her years ago for his gay lover. You can almost smell a stellar performance already. Last but not least, Caleb McLaughlin. After his mind-blowing acting in the Stranger Things finale, it was obvious that this guy was built for horror. And that's exactly what we'll see him in next, a Netflix horror thriller called The Deliverance. It's still in the early filming stages, so he might have to wait a while. It's the perfect horror recipe. Based on a true story of a family being possessed by a demon, the cast and the director are promising, so it could give The Conjuring a run for its money. Also, we can be sure that he'll be getting many more roles for thrillers in the future because that's what the fans are calling for. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.